Wow, what a nice claymore, you high impact player, you. You just hold down this hallway. I can always rely on you. You know exactly what you're doing. You are the best at planting claymores in this game. The best! Get it. Mm, a lot of noobs. Tell you what. Hold on to the C4 for a minute. I gotta go do something. Dick. Oh, hi there, Internet. I didn't see you. This is Callisto from ModernWarfare2Gamer.com. You heard of it? Yeah? Alright. Well, I hope you're having a fantastic day, because today is the day that you learn how to use SMGs. That's right. That is the day and day. Alright, friends. So the best place to start this little article would be with, well, what are the best SMGs? And I'm glad you asked that question, because I'm going to let you in on a little secret. The best... In SMGs in this game are indeed the MP5K, the Vector, and the P90. Alright, so starting out, we're going to go with the MP5, my super number one all-time happy favorite gun, and also just happens to be my baby's daddy. The biggest things with SMG is range. You don't want to let the range get away from you, because the further away you are, the more deaths you're going to get. Mid-range and close range is really where you want to be. So mid-range is anything from about this green tarp to like back over here. That's a really good mid-range like distance to be. If you can keep your SMG fights at that distance, you're going to get a lot of kills and you're going to be able to keep your deaths pretty low down because that's your advantage right there. And if you're not sure and you want to go somewhere where it might be long range, just um, there's a few tips you can use like... You don't want to come out like this and just get owned by someone long range. Instead, you want to stick out your corner, just check it like that. That way, all they can see is your shoulder, and you get to see what you're running into. One of the most important things with the MP5 is something I like to call tempering your aggression, which basically just means you never want to always be aggressive, and you never want to always be defensive. You want to mix it up and keep the other guy guessing as to what you're going to do. Because sometimes it's going to be to your advantage to push, and other times it's going to be to your advantage to just hold back and let them come to you. And you just really need to um, just decide what's best at the time. Which are they expecting me to do, so which one am I going to do? Just throw them off guard like that. One of the most amazing things about submachine guns in Modern Warfare 2 is steady aim. If you're not using steady aim with your SMG, you shouldn't be SMGing because... I mean, that's pretty much what it was designed for. I mean, if you see here, I almost never zoom in because I don't have to, and I want to keep my mobility. I want to be able to move and fire so that I can put bullets into them, and it's that much harder for them to put bullets into me because most of these guys are using assault rifles. Assault rifles are the most popular weapons in Modern Warfare 2. So if you're using an SMG, you need steady aim just to give yourself an advantage on them. They can't move and fire at you, but you can move and fire on them. So it's hard for them to keep their crosshairs on you, and it's easier for you to move around and just flank them, and then even when you're fighting them, move around. Just make yourself a hard target. It's going to help you out a lot. So movement is key, but even bigger than that is target selection. You'll see just a few times in this clip alone where I start firing on a guy, and then I just let him go and run away because it's a combination. You know, Sometimes they've got the triple health pills, and you don't want to mess with that, and then other times... It's just going to be a bad range situation. They've got an assault rifle. I've got an SMG. I'm not going to fight that fight because that's their game and their advantage. I'm going to run away. I'm going to hide. I'm going to let them come to me and have them fight me on my terms where I've got a much better shot at killing them. So you've just got to keep like advantages like that in your mind. You can't just always be, you know, just wanting to get the kill because sometimes it's a better way. Alright, moving on, we got the Vector. This gun's a badass little dude, but there's some stuff you gotta keep in mind when you're using them. This gun destroys noobs up close, but because of that, you have to be careful, because in Modern Warfare 2, anybody can carry a shotgun as their secondary weapons, and those things are freaking king up close. So you've gotta watch out for people with that, but most people don't think to switch to those indoors, so most of the time you'll be good, wow. but... That's really something you want to keep in the back of your mind when you're using this thing. One of the great things about SMGs in this game is you can be such a freaking ninja. If you zoom in, you get to maintain pretty much almost 100% of your move speed, so you're not slowed down when you're iron sighting. So that means you can iron sight and walk around any part of the map you want, and you're not going to make any noise, 
which is amazing, especially on Search and Destroy. So that's something you really want to take advantage of when you're using an SMG. With the Vector more so than the other guns, you have to zoom in anyways because it's got quite a decent bullet spread on it. So most of the time you use this gun, unless it's like extreme close range, you're going to want to zoom in or you're going to have a lot of trouble getting enough bullets into someone to take them down. The best way to compensate for the Vector's new brains is just to be mobile and always keep them guessing. Kill them at one part of the map and then move to another or switch to a different level. Kill them on the ground floor then move to the roof or kill them on the roof and move to the ground floor. Just mix it up and keep them guessing and you really take range out of the equation because you're always going to have the jump on them. They don't know where you're going to be so you're going to get the jump on them and even if you're a little bit outside your range you should be okay because you've got that one to two second, you know, where you already know what's going on and they're just still catching up. And up lastly we've got the P90 and this thing is just a beast of an SMG. The P90 has more range and higher damage than the MP5 and the Vector, but what it sacrifices is a little bit on the firing rate, so it's not quite as deadly, you know, up close, point blank, but this gun fights extremely well against assault rifles, and you almost never have to zoom it in, so you really get a lot of movement out of this one. But still, like the other ones, just don't take the long range fights if you don't have to. Just play smart and move around the map because you will get a better spot, especially in TDM. Because you're constantly worried about your range, the minimap plays a huge role in how you're going to play the map out. So you always want to be keeping one eye on that, just making sure you're running into enemies that are like at your ideal position. Since you're so mobile when you're using an SMG, an amazing strat to use is to just focus on one part of the map and just pushing through. If you can kill one or two guys, that pretty much breaks down the defense on that part of the map. And you can push through and get into their main force and behind like the big chunk of guys that usually sticks together on any given map. And you're going to get a huge kill streak if you can do that. So take advantage of what you're able to do on that front and just be really mobile and try and get behind them. Alright comrades, the information you need to destroy the noob threat is now in your hands. I leave it to you to complete this objective. I'll see you next time on ModernWarfare2Gamer.com and I'll leave you with a little bit of fun footage here. Later!